Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Now, I'm doing a what's for dinner right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pork roast on the barbecue. If you go and check out my, my videos, um, I put up a, a video of how to prepare a big eight and a half pound pork roast. I made it into four meals. Really, I got it at Sam's. It's a really good buy. And if you go check out that video, you, you can see how I did that. But so the, so the pork roast I'm making today on the grill, it's, um, it's a recipe I make. Delicious, it's with teriyaki and lemon. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna put it on the grill. It comes out amazing, guys. You could do pork chops like this. You could do, you know, uh, or, or a pork roast. Okay, so let's get started. All right, let me show you. Now this is one of the pork roasts that I made, that I cut. Now you gotta think, this is huge. This was, this, I, I got another pork roast out of this and like another eight chops out of this. So it was really, really big, guys. All right, so what I did was I already put teriyaki and some hoisin sauce in here. I only have a little teriyaki sauce left, so I only, only have a little bit, but I'm gonna add other stuff to it. And if you hear that barking outside, that's my dog. Because of course, as soon as I put the, like, as soon as I hit play, he tends to start barking. He's outside, <laughs> trying to get him some energy out. Okay, so I'm gonna put a, a, a oh, this is a really juicy lemon. Can you guys see? I hope you can see. I'm gonna put a half a lemon in, so far just a half, because it, that was a really, really juicy lemon. And this is my lemon squeezer, I love it. Showed it to you guys. I think I'm just gonna do a half right now. Like I said, I put hoisin sauce in, and I put teriyaki. I had like this much teriyaki sauce, so I put that in there. I'm gonna put some garlic powder, just a little bit, because I'm gonna put fresh garlic in. I'm gonna put like a teaspoon of fresh garlic. This is minced garlic, minced garlic, fresh garlic, and I grab whatever I have time for. Okay, minced garlic, some onion. Now you could do uh, the pork roast any way you want. If you just wanna put salt and pepper and a little oil on it or a little, you know, uh, different Italian dressing or however you wanna do it, guys, you do it the way you wanna do it. This is just how I like it. Okay, pepper, I think I didn't do salt, and salt. Now I'm gonna give this a whisk, a mix, okay. Okay, give this a whisk, mix. I meant to put the pork, I meant to actually marinate the um, pork last night. I was gonna put it, I had it in a Ziploc bag. I forgot to do that. So, I mean, you could do that. It'll, it's, it's, it's up to you. If you wanna marinate it the night before, marinate it the night before. If you don't, it's not a big deal. Okay, so you give this a little mix, all right? He's doing something out there, that dog. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I just like to poke a little bit of holes in it, only because I like it to go down into the meat. Now, the other pork roast I have, I'm gonna make with stuffed garlic. I put like, I, I put slits in the garl in the, in the pork roast, and I do this mixture of parsley and garlic, and I stuff it in the pork roast, and I stuff it down. Oh God, guys, it's so good. That's the next one I'm gonna show you. Okay, so let's do this one. I'm just gonna pour this right on top, because what's the sense of putting it on with a brush when I'm just gonna use, put it all over it anyway, okay? Pour that on and get it all. My hands are clean, so use, always use clean hands, guys. All right, mix this up a little bit. Oh, I don't know what that dog's doing out there. He's crazy. He really is crazy. Okay, what this now? All this juice that's here, guys. All the rest of the marinate, marinate, marination. I guess what it's called. I don't know the <laughs> whatever. All this stuff I'm gonna brush on to the pork roast while it's cooking. But I'm gonna let it cook for probably a good 15, 20 minutes on there before I do that. So all the juices and everything get sealed in and then I'll start brushing it with this mixture. Let me wash my hands, don't mind my half of my face right here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Look at that. Now I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes and then I'm gonna put it on the bar, I'm gonna put it, let me talk to you, let me see you guys. I'm gonna let it sit like for like five, 10 minutes and I'm gonna put it on the barbecue and let it get, let it, let it start getting cooking and I'm gonna make uh, make a side. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make. Maybe baked potatoes 
Also, guys, I have a roast, a small roast beef in my in my toaster oven. Let me show you. I want to show you without, you know, being so destructive with this thing. That's my roast beef I have. I had a small roast beef in the freezer that I had bought a couple of weeks ago, and um, I wanted to get it cooked because actually today what I did was I um, I had another freezer that I hooked up that was that my landlord had that was in my basement, so I hooked it up because I, I don't have enough freezer space. I never have enough freezer space. So I had to rearrange all my freezers, and I bought this a couple of weeks ago, and I said, you know what? Let me cook it. It's not that big. It's, you know, it's, it's a medium-sized thing. It won't feed a lot of people, but it'll feed, you know, my family. Um, so I figured I would, I, would, I would cook it. So that, that's cooking in my toaster oven, which I absolutely love. This thing, I cook so much stuff in, guys. It's so great. You should invest in one of these. I got this for $10 at a garage sale. You're not even going to believe it. I think I told you guys that story once before. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to think about what sides I'm going to make with this, and I'm going to put this on the barbecue, and then um, I'll come back and show you guys. I'll come on and show you guys everything that I'm making, and we'll continue. Okay, be back. Hi, guys. So the roasts are all done, okay? I'm going to show you what we got here. I'm going to slice some up for you, set up a plate, and let you know, see, let you see what we're having for dinner tonight. All right, let's get started. Here are, they came out beautiful, guys. 40 minutes in my toaster oven, the roast beef. Look at this nice, beautiful roast beef. Look at that. 40 minutes in the toaster oven. And the pork roast on the grill. Look at that. So yummy, guys. Gets a little charred, but I really like it that way. That actually, the char is the best part. All right, so I'm going to slice them up and put them on plate. I'm going to just, you know, start putting them on the plates. And then what I'm going to do is uh, make a plate up. Now, this roast beef is medium rare because we happen to like medium rare. It's actually probably a little bit more cooked than I would have liked it. I think it could have been a little bit rarer, but that's fine. I'm going to leave the light off. Jen, you can come say hello. Jenny's here. She wants to say hello. You got to come over this way, honey. Here you go. Come over here. Thank you. Come over this. Go over Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. Oops. I in the miss you guys. Me. All right, don't hang on me. Okay, let me finish doing the meat. Let's cut the meat up. Yes, okay, she can't wait for this. Now, we, I like it <laughs> nice and thin. So we cut it nice and thin, guys. Okay. So I'm going to make a plate up. I'm going to cut some of the beef. And let me get to the pork roast now. I'm going to turn this around. I'll tell you, you know, it, it, this looks like an expensive meal. Really not. The roast beef was on sale. And the pork roast, like I told you, I got such a steal on. So this is like an amazing dinner. I mean, we're so thankful. But this is an amazing dinner, guys. Now, the pork roast... I tested it like 85 times, and it kept saying it was done. But I don't know, to me it looks a little pink. It looks a little pink to me still. Let's do this side. Because pork, I mean pork, you can eat a little bit pink, you know. You don't have to cook pork to death, but it, it does need to be basically, you know, done, because you can't eat raw, raw pork, but um, yeah. This definitely has to go in a few more minutes. I feel like it's not all the way done. It's definitely pink. Look. Okay. So we're gonna put the pork in for a few minutes, longer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right in my toaster oven. We're gonna put the pork in for a couple more minutes. We'll put it right in my toaster oven. Cause this will cook quickly in there for like another probably 10 minutes. All right, guys, look. Put this in there and let that cook. So what I'll show you is the roast beef. The roast beef, guys, is cooked perfectly, perfectly. So I'm gonna make up a dish for somebody. Maybe this will be my dish. There we go. Hope you guys can see that. The 
Yeah, I gotta get the broccoli out of the microwave. Roast beef, now I'm gonna put the other stuff on it. Let me show you. Okay, I got mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Now these are just instant mashed potatoes, guys. I didn't do anything special tonight. Okay, whoops. Mashed potato overboard. Let me get the broccoli. You should just talk, honey. Oh. We can hear you whispering, silly. <laughs> Look at the hey, broccoli. Dad, now this broccoli, it was frozen broccoli that I that I cooked in the microwave, three bags, and I bought that um, squeeze cheese. Like I don't know I if you guys that. know about the dollar about the Dollar Tree. They have like the squeezed um, Velveeta cheese. I I poured three three cheeses over that, and now uh, broccoli broccoli and cheese. I help with the cheese. Yes, she helped. I helped. There we go. Nice. I should get a spoon. A nice portion of this. I have to make a lot of this because Jenny likes it and everybody likes it. So there's got to be enough for everybody. Can, they, can I tell them something else? Otherwise, they kill each other. Okay, tell them something. And a little bit of gravy. What, Jenny? Can I tell them about yeah. the cheese? Guys, gravy on the mashed potatoes. Guys, the broccoli of you use you can use that cheese to make nachos and cheese because nachos and cheese is my favorite, and you should try to make that. It's delicious. Okay, let's show them the food. Bye, everyone. I'll see you later. Okay, here is their plate: roast beef, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. So easy on a weeknight. I'll never forget when I was first married, and um. This thing is always such a pain in the butt. When I was first married and I had my kids were young and my and I used to make like roast beef or pork roast in the middle of the week and everything. And my sister, one of my sisters used to always say to me, um, you make that during the week? I'm like, yeah, what, what's, what's so hard about it? Putting roast in the oven and, and making instant mashed potatoes or homemade mashed potatoes, it's not that hard. You know, she, to her it was like a big thing. She only did it on Sunday, not me. I make nice meals during the week too. And here we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, if you if you like this video, hit the like button on the bottom, and also hit that notification button so you guys are notified every time I put a video out. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and all your support. And I'll see you next time. Jenny wants to say goodbye. Bye, everyone. I'll see you guys soon because me and Mom are going to show you guys how to make cookies. All right. Bye. Bye.